Hey everybody, welcome to Titans of CNC Academy. My name is Billy Boyce, and today I'm going to take you through designing Titan 86L in Fusion 360. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do, make sure we are in design, and then we're going to come up here and click Create Sketch. Then we're going to choose this plane here. I'm going to press L on the keyboard for line. I'm just going to snap right here to the middle, drag this over to the left. I'm going to do a overall length of 0.640, enter. I'm going to go ahead and double click the center mouse button and that will kind of bring everything into view. This is going to end up being our center of rotation. We're going to go ahead and do half of the profile and do a revolve to create the solid. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and press L for line. And I'm going to start here, and what I'm going to kind of do is just kind of draw it kind of like I see it. Something like that. Then I'm going to come over here to Horizontal Vertical Constraints. I'm going to click that, click that, make sure everything's cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw another line here. This is going to represent the hole going through, so I'm going to press D for dimension and go ahead and put a dimension there. We have a through diameter of 560, 0.560. We'll divide that by two, press enter. There we go. You can see this guy isn't quite touching. What I wanna do is go coincident from that point to here. That gives us our overall and our heights. So, okay. So let's go ahead and go to sketch dimension. We'll go here and here. We see that is a diameter of 0.950. We'll divide that by two, enter. We know that both of these sides are the same. So what I wanna do is make sure these are collinear. So I'll come up here to the constraints, click this one, and then this one, and that'll pull that down. Let's go ahead and do another dimension. We'll do from here to this first point. We see that's 0.125. Go from here to the center point of the kind of V or the shape. That's 0.358. Okay. See that kind of push that over. So what I'm gonna do is just click and hold and then just move that over like that. I'm gonna press D for dimension or click the icon. That dimension is 0.59. Enter. Now we can do the diameter. So here to here, see 0.732 divided by two. There we go. And then we have the kind of cutout or the little notch, something like this. Go ahead and either hit D for dimension or use the icon. Go from here to here. We see that's a diameter of 0.624. We'll say divided by two, enter. We have a dimension from here to the bottom of the cut, 0.2. And then we have an overall thickness of that cut, and that's 0.1. So it should look something like that. We have a couple fillets I think we can add. So we'll go fillet. We'll go right here. That is a 0.1 radius. Enter. Take a look. Looks like everything else are going to be chamfers. So let's go ahead and go to solid, revolve. Choose that right there. Say select. Choose our center line. Say okay. Kind of rotate this. There we go. We see our key cut. We look good. So let's go ahead and finish this off and add our chamfer. So we'll go modify chamfer. We have a bunch of standard edge breaks here. So we'll go there, 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 and there. And that looks like it. So 0.01, enter. Kind of rotate this around. Take a look at it. Looks good. Well, there you go. That is the Titan 86L.